Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden. My name is Catherine Constant and I'm so happy to be here with you right now in the garden. And you know what I've been doing? I've been planting seeds. Yes, there's a song that says, I've got seeds in the ground. I'm expecting a harvest now. Well, that's the truth. Well, I'm going to be planting some spinach, some lettuce, beets, and carrots. And I want you to come with me as I go through the process. And then also, I have a great surprise for you. My fig tree. Yes, I'm going to show it to you. So stick around so you can see what I'm talking about as far as my fig tree and what's happened to it. The people that have inspired me to plant seeds have been Jess from Roots and Refuge Farm and also Linda, the New Orleans gardener. Linda has such a special touch with planting seeds in pots. And Catherine, from My Hillside Garden. Yes, her name is the same as mine, Catherine. And she's inspired me to garden. Now, yes, she loves seeds. And she had um, just put out a video on seed planting and seeds. And I went out and I bought myself a pack of seeds. And these seeds are burpee seeds that I got 40% off at Ocean Jaw Lot. And when I saw them, 40% off, I said, oh, I'm going to have to plant some seeds like Jess. And all of a sudden, the dogs decide to bark. Well, I'm in the city. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. This morning, while it is overcast and it's kind of cool, it's, I think, in the 70s, August 3rd here in Zone 6 in the Boston area, I am going to put my seeds in the ground. Um, William McDowell has this song, I have seeds in the ground. And so he's waiting for the rains to come because he has seed in the ground. Well, my time is running out here and I need to get these seeds in the ground. I'm going to put them in pots and um, here it has the, the different time. It says full sun. It says there's 68 days uh, to harvest so I think I have some time here um, this month and next month in September and then I have this beets and this says 50 days to harvest these chives I think I'm gonna throw these chives in the ground um, direct sow it somehow I don't know but then the carrots again this and these are short and sweet carrots and spinach, spinach. I have never really grown spinach or lettuce. So this time I'm going to grow some spinach and some lettuce in the in pots. And I've kind of gathered some pots together and I'm going to give it a go. And so I have my tools. Now, by the way, these tools are from the dollar store. I got these, um, let's make a little noise there. I got these gloves from the dollar store and they've been lasting me and holding up really well. And these tools also were from the dollar store. And could you imagine it? They're very sturdy, well made, and just for a dollar. Um, and these seeds I got from um, Ocean Job Lot and they were 40% off and I decided, well, let me give it a go. I have been saving these pots. Um, these two containers I got from my aunt. I had bought it for her, my aunt Tanti. She was like my grandmother. And um, I wanted to plant her a little garden on her porch. And when she passed away, I said, I'm taking my pots. I'm not going to leave them there so that they can throw them away. So it's been stashed away in my shed all of this time. But I'm going to pull them out. And I think I'm going to plant the carrots in these in these containers and then 
and this this is what I had uh, my knockout roses in I think I'm going to use those to plant the spinach one for the spinach and one for the lettuce and then I have these containers but I think I'm going to use these for my um, hydrangeas we'll see the hydrangea I'm going to propagate some hydrangea um, the hydrangea bush over there yeah and create some more hydrangea plants to put around the yard and then these little pots these pots the begonias came in and I saved them and I know they're gonna come in handy for something and I even have the little trays too the, the begonias these begonias here yeah and these also the sun patient yes these sun patients also they came in those little pots and I'm gonna use that but by the way look at this isn't this pretty <laughs> the flowers always distract me I'm always distracted by the flowers and look at my chard my Swiss chard it I think it likes this location it's starting to get a little healthy I still have not seen my zinnia seeds here nothing at first I saw something coming up but, but then now I see nothing I don't know but anyway the Swiss chard isn't it pretty I love the veining now see I'm totally distracted I am totally distracted by this beautiful display of flowers. I am just so happy to be here in the garden with you. I've also planted before in the past some cucumber seeds too. And the cucumber plants are coming up really well. I just wanted to bring you over here to this back garden. I planted the cucumbers from the seed pack. And I just put them in the ground here and they are doing so fantastic so this is my direct ground seed planting whereas the zinnias I have not seen any thing I planted the zinnia seeds here and nada not a thing <laughs> nothing no response oh well But this is growing well here. Look at these. I have a lot of cucumbers, pickled cucumbers to come. I'll have a great harvest with them. But this is encouraging, seeing that. And then also my, um, I've decided that I am going to plant the rest of the carrot seeds over where the cucumbers are and also plant the beets there too and see if they'll come up and uh, make it through the fall. And over there, I've done a little back to Eden idea by putting down um, wood chips and really trying to uh, uh, strengthen the soil. So let's see if it really works for me uh, with the carrots and beets. Well, we'll try and just see and see how it, it comes out. Okay, so in the two pots, I'm going to put the soil. It's called purely organic, organic potting soil. And it's supposed to be a really perfect organic blend for organic vegetables, herbs, and beautiful flowers. So I'm going to use this soil and put it into these pots. Now I have these planted for a long time. I usually put my mums in them and put it on the deck, but this time I'm going to use the pots and the planters. This is just the, the knockout roses pot. I'm gonna put the soil inside and I'm gonna plant. I'm gonna rinse out these pots first a little bit with some soapy water so that if there's anything that might cause any kind of disease, won't uh, it won't affect the soil. So I'm gonna plant the spinach in one and I'm going to plant the lettuce in the other and I think it's going to look really pretty with these white pots you know the I'm also <laughs> into the decorating I think I like the to use the flowers and the plants to bring beauty to the yard and to the garden 
Okay, so here, here I am, and I am going to put the soil in the pots, and we're going to see what happens here. Um, I cleaned out the my wonderful dollar, dollar family dollar gloves. I'm using. Yeah, these gloves I got from Family Dollar, and they have stand the test of time. I think I've had them for like two years now. Okay, so I filled the two pots with soil, as you can see here. Yeah, and um, this is nice, loamy stuff. So I think that the seeds are going to do well. I'm going to put some more dates. I don't want to use the other things. I want to use some of this to layer the other things. Okay. I think it's fluffy enough so that the seeds can germinate. All right, let's see. Let's put the lettuce. I'm gonna put the spinach in this one here. Spinach. Ooh. It says delicious, tender, dark green leaves. Has a light um, nutritional, a high nutritional value. Harvest early for baby leaves. So in average soil in early spring, but of course this is a fall planting. And and again in late summer, oh yeah, for fall crops in the south, so in fall. So thinly in rows, cover with one half inch of fine soil, firm lightly um, and keep evenly moist. Seedlings emerge in seven to 14 days, thin gradually to Stand six inches apart. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do this right, but I'm gonna do my best. It's an experiment. This is what the seeds look like. Big enough. So I think it's set in rows. So I think I'm gonna just plop them in, though, in a circular pattern. And then I'll thin them. I'm not doing a great job with this, but I think because I know I'm going to thin them. And because the seeds are so big, I think I'm going to plant some of these over where the cucumbers are. So then now my next step is going to be the water that. But before I do that, I'm going to do this other part here. I'm going to plant the lettuce. Okay, so let's take a look at that. That's what it says. Lettuce, four seasons. I think this is so pretty. I've never seen such colorful lettuce like this. Let's see what the leaves look like. Ooh, these are really fine seeds. Look at that. I think I'm gonna just pour the whole thing in there. Um, what does it say? Heirloom six butter heads with remarkable coal hardiness. Perfect for spring and fall winter harvest. That's good. So an average soil in full sun in early spring for first crop, in late summer for fall crop. So thinly in rows. 12 inches apart and cover with one fourth of fine soil, firm lightly and keep moist, evenly moist. Seedlings emerge in seven to 10 days, so every two weeks to extend harvest. Ooh, I think I'm gonna save some of these and do just that to extend the harvest. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna just scatter them in.
probably a lot of seeds, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to thin them later on. I'll thin them. Okay, let me get a little soil to cover. Well, I didn't find anything to mark this with, but I found these rulers. I found my rulers, and these rulers, guess where they came from? The dollar store, and I'm gonna use them to mark my two pots. And uh, I got the marker, and the marker also is from the dollar store. So I just marked spinach and lettuce, and because the lettuce is so um, colorful, this I'm going to use the red ruler and because the spinach is more you know bluey green plain I'm going to use the blue one for the spinach all right so I'm going to just put it in here as a marker so that I'll know what is what and that's that's it for this Early in the season, I planted some carrot seeds in this pot, and the carrots seem to be doing fine. They're growing, and then in this pot, I planted some basil and, of course, the marigold seeds. Okay, here we are. I'm going to plant the carrots in one of these tubs, and I'm going to plant the beets. the ruler here to identify which is which and I'm going to just write on this I think I'm going to let this be for the the beats I'm going to mark it beats now it might wash off but at least hopefully my memory won't be that bad and I remember that this is for the beets. And I don't have another one, so that's obviously going to be for the carrots. The so in deep, well worked, uh, stone free soil after damage of heavy frost. Sow seeds thinly in rows 12 inches apart. Cover with fine soil, firmly, firm lightly, and keep evenly moist. Do not transplant as crooked roots may result. Well, I'm going to just put this in here and um, I'm going to just plant the whole thing and then weed them out, separate them out later on. Um, the carrot seeds are very tiny. You see that? Very tiny. So, I don't know, I'm just going to broadcast it. Just sow them in like this and we get what we get you know I mean it's obviously it's probably too many seeds much better. Okay, so now the beets, what they look like. Oh, these are much bigger. Alright, so one.
some seed covering. We'll see what happens here. This is my first time here. But as I said, I've been inspired by YouTube to actually sow seeds and try this out. All right, so that's done. So this is the beets. And this one over here is for the carrots. The cucumber seeds uh, have sprouted and the, they're doing very well. These plants look good. And I have some other cucumbers planted over there. But while I was looking at the cucumbers, this is what I discovered. Look at this. Oh my God, look. This is my fig tree. My fig tree. And there's actually a fig developing. Look at that. I am so excited. This tree can actually give figs. I'm gonna to have to figure out how to take care of it so that I can get my figs. Look at it. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you saw that video that I, um, that I presented the fig tree. Well, you know, my husband had cut down this fig tree not knowing that it was a fig tree last year and I I had was so de, uh, distraught about it but I didn't want to bother him about it because I said well it's just a plant I can get another one and um, but I'm so pleased to see that it's growing and this is like it's third year in I purchased it from QVC and um, it was the Walleen Brothers. Let's see, what do they call it? Roberta's Garden. And they said, yes, you can grow figs in a zone six garden and um, just have to overwinter it and take care of it and that this is winter hardy. And I said, okay, let me try it because I know that it's a little iffy. But to actually see it come back and actually see it want to provide me with fruit figs I am so happy today what a blessing it's almost like wait on the Lord be of good courage and he will strengthen thine heart wait I say on the Lord I am so excited to be um, trying these new things and to be a part of this garden community so thank you to Jess Linda and Catherine for inspiring me to plant seeds and to put them in pots and to gain my harvest yes I'm very grateful and then if you like this video then like share and subscribe comment down below how is your garden growing are you doing uh, some fall planting as well have you collected your seeds are you planting them in pots also put your comments down and as I said, that song from William McDowell, I've got seed in the ground, I'm expecting a harvest now. Yes, yes we are. Oh, I'm starting to feel some raindrops now. Yes, the rain is coming to bless the seeds. Isn't that fabulous? And by the way, check out my hat. Guess where I got it from? You're right. The dollar store, the dollar store. Yes, my nice gardening hat. And I also have it in black too, so that I can switch up a little bit and add a little color and get some protection in the garden. You know, there's something just to uh, the dollar store. We can get some really good bargains there. Well, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe comment down below and come and join me again in Catherine's garden. 
see you. Happy planting. Happy planting. Oh, it's so nice in the garden. I just love it here. 